Hello, this is Richard, this is Games Freezer, and today, my friends, we are going to be taking a look at the Trust Renu PC laptop wireless mouse. It is a mouse we've been sent by Trust to take a look at and see what it's like. We're gonna do a little unboxing and then we'll crack on with testing it out. So this is the packaging that it comes in um, with the spiel on the back saying, wireless gaming mouse with rainbow wave illumination and a total of nine buttons ergonomic shape so kind of standard kind of shape really uh keeps your gaming comfortably for hours okay full rgb led lighting with adjustable colors and effects be good to see those in action um a total of nine buttons allowing for full control over your games so it looks as though you can map buttons on your mouse to specific actions which is all good uh, integrated triple fire button gives you a speed advantage during heated battles and um, you can switch between 800 1200 1600 2000 2400 and 4800 dpi with the press of a button and reduce the weight of the mouse by using only one battery whoa one battery eh? so there you go and inside you get a wireless gaming mouse a micro receiver two AA batteries and your user guide, which you can download. Um, okay, yeah, so it looks fairly promising from the outside. So let's uh, let's get it open. So I've gone to the trouble of getting rid of the little sticky things on the side, so it's easier to get into. So this will be the first time I've actually opened it properly though. So let's see what we've got within this little package. Right, so let's pull it out. Okay, let's get rid of that. Oh, we've got some bits in here as well. All right, okay. There you go. Okay, so there's your setup instructions by the looks of it. Basically, put the batteries in, plug the dongle in, press your button, and away you go. That's cool. Okay, pretty standard. Uh, what we got here? Oh, a nice little uh, sticker. Everyone loves a sticker. These normally go on my notepad. So let's put that over there. Mm, we've got some other legal and compliance information. Okie dokie. Right, let's put that over there. Take the mouth away from the cardboard. Pop the cardboard on the floor. Right, okay. So let's take the mouse out and see. Okay. Okay, first impressions. Looks nice. Looks real nice. Let's bring it closer to the camera. See what we've got. Nice kind of matte black finish to it. There's your on off button under there. Let's slide her open and see what we've got inside. Okay, two batteries in there and your little dongle. Let's pull the dongle out. Standard little dongle with the CXT on the back which refers to I don't know what that refers to but it refers to something because it's on the box also right okay so let's unleash the beast take the little tag out are they both in the right way around yep yeah, they are yep okay let's get our dongle out slide that in turn that on Put that there and I will plug this in and see how quick we can get it set up. Oh nice. Okay, so that's oh, it's set up straight away. Right, let's have a feel. So Feels nice, nice, nice weight to it, nice width to the um, mouse itself. Got these changing colours on the mouse as it cycles through the um, RGB, which is all good. Um, in terms of the controls themselves, i.e., how do you uh, add in custom? buttons etc. I'm not sure how to do that immediately because it doesn't seem to be included 
within the packaging, but I'm sure that's something I could look up. So let's just uh, use it for a little bit and see how it goes. So I'm, I've got it rolling around on my uh, on my desktop PC. So it's yeah, very nice. Feels much better than my standard issue Logitech mouse that came with my keyboard. As you can see, if you measure it up against that, it's a, this is a much bigger mouse, much more uh, substantial in terms of feel and build as well, which is all good. So what we got here then, so we have right click. Okay, let's do that, nice. Yeah, feels really, really sturdy, really nice. Now, the next thing I will do is I will go online as suggested in the documentation and visit trust.com um, and have a look at the downloadable um, documentation that will enable me to change the settings, etc. on the mouse. It would be good to see whether I can turn off the RGB or um, maybe have it just displaying one colour because I'm assuming that RGB constantly changing is, has potential to then run the battery down, but I don't know yet. Obviously, I haven't tested it over a number of days, months, weeks, whatever. So um, that would be interesting to see what that turns out to be. But overall, it um, feels like a nice mouse. Um, I'll pop a link in the description below so as you can head over to the Trust website and check it out for yourself to see what the, the current price is. Um, if we have a quick search... Um, online now and search for the Ranu uh, wireless and see how much we're looking at at the moment. Um, at the moment, looks as though it's around twenty one ninety nine, roughly. Um, so yeah, a decent price for a nice mouse, and we'll uh, we'll give it a test over the next few weeks as we do more ten minute tasters, and I'll be using the mouse and uh, I can pop a quick update in the uh, comments section. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video, hopefully it's given you a bit of an indication as to what the Ranu uh, Trust PC mouse is all about and uh, just how easy it is to use. Um, if you like the video please press like, if you would like to subscribe to our channel don't forget to do that before you uh, leave today and also we are over on socials uh, on Twitter and Instagram and we're at Games Freezer. Until next time my friends you'll leave me double clicking my mouse. Goodbye my friends.